let us see how to check the live tracking in the Tragzi mobile application. The user can click on the live tracking option from the bottom panel. Here all the vehicles in this particular user will be shown on the map. If the user wishes to see the vehicles for only some status then the user can use the filter option. Here the filters can be applied for vehicle status such as running, idle, stop, inactive or no data or the filters can also be applied for the company or object itself. If the user wishes to search for an object then the user can click on the search bar and then search the object. If the object is found the user can click on the object to plot it on the map. Now when the object is plotted the vehicle will be shown along with its tooltip where the latest data updation time will be shown along with its location. The speed of the vehicle also will be shown. If the user wishes to share the location of the vehicle then he can use the share option. Here the user will have to select the validity for the link shared in the lo share location option. Then the user can either enter the email or the mobile number details if required. If the user wishes to share the location of this vehicle on another social media platform then the user can click on the share button. A link will be generated which can then be shared on any social media platform available in the mobile phone. Now let us check the playback. The user can click on the playback option to check the playback of the vehicle. The user needs to select the duration for which the playback has to be seen. Let us select today. When the duration is selected then the vehicle route will be plotted on the map along with the tooltip below which will show the total distance travelled along with the duration taken to travel that particular distance. If the user needs to play then he can click on the play button. When clicked on the play button the vehicle will start moving as shown in the playback. If the speed needs to be adjusted that can be done from the map itself. The user can play or pause it whenever necessary. If the user wishes to see the events generated during the playback then he can click on the events option. Here all the events on this particular playback will be shown. If the device is an MDVR device then the user can click on the video option to see the video recorded by the vehicle. Next let us see the settings of the playback. Here the settings available are for stoppage where the user can select the stoppage duration which should be displayed on the map in the playback. For example if selected as greater than or equal to 5 then only those stoppages which are greater than or equal to 5 minutes will be shown. The same will be applied for speed as well. Next, if the user wants to see the alerts which are generated then he can click on the show alerts option or he can disable the same also. The same can be applied for show idle and show root as well. Now let us go back to the vehicle tooltip. Here as seen before the latest data updation time and the location will be shown. Let us check out the further options in the vehicle tooltip. Here the further options are the port attachments which can be seen and the user can see the driver for the vehicle if any. The latest odometer updation will be shown up next. In the parking option the user will be able to see the duration in which the vehicle was in stop condition. Next 
the duration for which the vehicle has been traveling will be shown the distance traveled by the vehicle for today will be shown up next if any alerts have been generated then the number of alerts will also be shown next we have the door option so from here the user can lock or unlock the door of the vehicle from the mobile application itself please note that this is the functionality of the device and will be totally dependent on the device itself next we have the expense option from where the user can add the expense from the mobile application the user can click on the add expense then you can select whether the expense is for fuel or maintenance and accordingly can enter the other details the last option is the nearest poi from where the user can see which was the nearest poi at the live location of the vehicle now let us see the follow option here we have the follow option on the top right corner when clicked on that a small window will be opened which can be minimized as needed and the user will be able to see this particular window throughout the application unless it is closed so the user can always track this particular vehicle no matter which screen he is on in the mobile application